Hello guys, it's Elsie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my fall and winter empties video for body care, candles, etc. So let's start with the video already, but first subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, follow my Instagram, and start with the video already. Okay, so I have them all in here and I'm just gonna grab and show you because that way it's easier. So I think we're gonna start with Buttermiss because to me that's the most exciting. Okay, so the first one is Sweet Fig and this is how it looks like. Empty as you can see. So this one has purple fig and vanilla honey. So I wasn't too crazy about this one. Like, I feel like this entire collection bored me. I just know I'm not gonna miss this fragrance. Like, it was okay. Like, something about me and Fig, we don't get that along. So, I didn't care about that one. The next one, this Winter Candy Apple, and it's from 2016. As you can see, it's empty. So, I'm glad I finished it because that's more than five years ago. So, I had to go. The next one is Blissful Garden. As you can see, I think this was the last vitamins that I actually finished. And this one has frosted blackcurrant and vanilla orchid and balsam fair. It smelled good, I enjoyed it, but I don't care about not having it in my collection. So next, I also have this golden pear from the same collection as Hanifek, I think that's the name of it. So as you can see, it's empty. This one has used pear and raw honey. like. This entire collection was kind of like a flaw for me, so the only one that I have left is the cherry one. I mean, at first I liked it, but then I was like, hmm, I don't care so much for them. So I didn't care about finishing this one. The next one is Temptation. So this one's empty as well. And I think this one's from 2015. 2015. I desperately needed to finish this one. Next, I finished this Blackberry Fizz, which is this one, just because it turned kind of like powdery for me. It has blackberry sorbet and velvet dahlia. Dahlia, it's definitely a hit or miss for me, mostly a miss because it turns like the bottom is very powdery, so it smells good, but I feel like it was too powdery for me. Next, I finished this Cherry Elixir. Which is this one. I have a backup of this one, so um, it's not a big deal if I just finish just one and I have a backup of that one. This one has black cherry and liquid amber. I feel like the amber here was making this whole fragrance like very deep, like a little bit too much sometimes. Like I do like this fragrance, but if I if I finish one and I just have one, that's okay for me. I don't need to have two of the same scent, you know? The next one is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. And I didn't want to finish this one, but honestly, it just happened. Like, it wasn't even a project you set up. It literally just happened. Like, I was bringing this one every single morning during the fall time because I was craving it that bad this one has pumpkin latte toasted marshmallows creamy sandalwood and praline musk this one literally smells so freaking good it was my favorite during the whole this whole fall like smells like a marshmallow latte literally and i do have the um, new packaging for this year because this one's from last year next i have this perfect pumpkin Fragrance Mist, beautiful packaging, and it's done. And this one's from 2016, and I think this is like a repackage of um, pumpkin cinnamon, I think, because it smells like pumpkin cinnamon. So I finished this one. Next, I finished this Champagne Apple and Honey. This is my favorite packaging, it is beautiful. And this one's from 2016 as well. So I just wanted to like, finish the ones that were kind of old, I guess, in my collection. Next, I finish this Bare Vanilla Crystal. Not my favorite flanker, so I didn't care about finishing this one. This one has Radiant Amber and Vanilla Musk. Very, very musky, or I don't know if it's the amber in here, but it's not my favorite type of vanilla. The next one is Vanilla Clouds which is this one, so it's empty. And this one has cotton wood and toasted hazelnut. So honestly, I grabbed a buck up already because I was bring this one so much for the gym. To me, it has like a very cologne undertone to it that I kind of liked for the gym. Next, I finished this Merry Mocha. 
and it's all gone and this one has caramel drizzle and smoky hazelnut so this one it's not too heavy on the caramel which i didn't care for so to me it smells more like a kind of like a powdery vanilla and like it was okay for me i think i liked it because of the packaging like it's so cute but i don't care for it that much okay next i have this uh winter berry wonder and one of my favorite packagings as well and this one's from 2016 so this one was turning a lot like alcohol uh not so much winter candy apple not so much this one but this one was definitely turning more into alcohol definitely i recommend finishing like your all the fragrance mist because they turn very much into alcohol so most of them not all of them so i have two from happy place and i was spraying this one on myself this is brown sugar and caramel this one smells a lot like marimuka in my opinion like they don't smell like caramel but it smells more like a light vanilla so i didn't care for it so i finished it and then the other happy place fragrance mist is sun-kissed ocean waves and it has sea salt and water blossom this one was a room spray because i wouldn't wear this one on me but it was definitely a room spray so i think i have like a couple of minis i think i have like three minis here so i finished from Bodycology, this was like a set from last Christmas. So I have mocha latte, I have sugar cookie, and I have winter plum. This one was my favorite, like it was literally the only one that I liked from the, the entire set. Okay, so those were the uh, fragrance mist for fall and winter. 19 fragrance mist with three minis. I feel like we did pretty good. Okay, so now moving on to body lotions. I have Bonfire Bash, which is this one. It even wasn't on my project you set up, like I don't know how it happened. I think it was because I took it to my sister's house and I spent the week over there. I was using this up a lot, so it just happened, like out of nowhere. This one has vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. So, it smells really pretty. I really, really like Bonfire Bash. It smells like marshmallows and just like burning marshmallows, like literally like a Bonfire Bash. And it smells really, really good for the fall. Next, I finished this raspberry jam donut which is this one so this one has wild raspberry jam powdered sugar and warm fluffy donut honestly i wanted to finish almost all my like type of vanilla sweet fragrance um body creams because they turned yellow and this one was mostly yellow so that's why i wanted to finish this one so next i have this like confetti cake pop body cream as well and it turned very yellow as well so that's why i wanted to finish it it has creamy cake frosting rainbow sprinkles and vanilla bean very sweet like cake vanilla type of scent then i have pure seduction crystal and this one's i don't even bother to cut open because i don't care for this victoria's secret body lotions as they're so watered down and like i said i mostly have them in the kitchen but this one smelled really good Next, I have this Bare Vanilla Radiant, which is this one. So this one has Brilliant Berries and Passion Fruit Crush. Kind of like a boardwalk taffy type of scent. Next, I have this Before the Rain Body Lotion. It has Sun Kissed Lilies and Bright Yuzu. This one, I have the body mist and it smells really good. It literally smells like the rain, but like very, very fruity and so good. Next, I have this Lost in a Daydream body lotion, and it has Chris Apple and Hazelnut Woods. I have the body mist, and I really, really love the scent. It smells amazing. I have these two left, so I have this pumpkin pecan waffles, and all done, as you can see. So this one has maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Literally smells like pumpkin pecan waffles, and... I was only craving this one when it was really really cold outside and I was taking like baths or showers like to go to bed and I think that was the only time that I was craving this one because it is so freaking heavy 
And the last body cream or body lotion I have is from the Dollar Tree. I actually got this one at the Dollar Tree. It's a cinnamon body lotion and it's all gone. It smells good, like for a dollar. It actually smells good. I have one more, one more body lotion. So I have this Sherry Elixir body lotion as well and it has a black sherry and liquid amber so same thing like the bottom is like I finished one of these like a set so that's good I'm gonna continue with body washes so the first one is this Keras Shea Butter and Brown Sugar body wash and it's all gone as you can see so this one smells really good I feel like it's a must for the fall time and I think I'm pretty much going to re like repurchase this one because it smells like kind of gives like wooden fire bash type of scent next I have this method body coconut rice milk and chia butter body wash it's all gone and this one was so okay I'm not a huge fan of the method body body washes and I'm like I'm the only one. It smells good, I'm just not crazy about them. I think this is the last body wash that I finished and this is the Dove Lavender Oil and Chamomile body wash. It smells so relaxing. I was using this one to either to go to a gym or come back after the gym and shower because it is so relaxing and it has like a clean feeling to it as well because obviously the chamomile hair and the uh, lavender as well. So I think I'm gonna continue with candles and the first one I finished was this Witch's Brew candle from Marshalls and I am going to be keeping this one because it looks like a coffee and it's all gone as you can see and I didn't like the freaking scent inside at all, at all. It, like this type of like candles from Marshalls that have like the coffee design and everything they don't smell good, but honestly, I just wanted it because of the design, obviously. So I am going to be keeping this one um, as decor or something like that. So next, I have this frosted cranberry. And this is how it looks like. Love the packaging, so cute. This one has iced cranberries, blonde woods, red apple, and tucka bean. I don't care so much about very fruity, bright fruity scents around my house but this one smelled really good and it was so strong and long lasting this is how it burned but yeah it, this one was freaking strong so it took me a while to finish because i had to stop for a little bit because it was just so strong so so next candle i finished was this marshmallow fireside and this is how it burned and this one has Toasted marshmallow, smolding woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. So this is one of my favorite Christmassy scents. It smells like the fireside, it smells like marshmallows, like burning marshmallows and just like bonfire. It's giving those vibes and I really like how cozy it is for the winter. This is the last candle and this one is from Walmart and it's a warm apple pie. This is how it looks like and... This is how it looks on the inside. It has like a good smell. Not so much like a warm apple pie, but I feel like it just smells like candles, you know? It's, I like the scent. Lastly, I only have one perfume. It takes me longer to actually finish an actual perfume. I finished this tease from Victoria's Secret because it was kind of old. This one's definitely my favorite perfume from all time from Victoria's Secret. It is so girly so feminine this is our purchase for sure i have this uh cerave cleanser so i finished one of these already it's my cleanser the one that i actually like next i have i used to throw this away and i'm like i can actually show them on my empties i have this secret relaxing lavender clear gel deodorant like I, this is the one that i like so i finished one of these and then I finished this dough, brown sugar, and coconut butter scrub. So this one's I'm not a huge fan of, but I just wanted to finish it. I don't like them that much. Like I prefer the ones from Tree Hot. Next, I finished a shampoo. I finished this Avino uh, apple cider vinegar blend conditioner. It's not shampoo. It's actually the conditioner. So this is how it looks like, and. I love this brand for the hair. 
Then I finished this Heritage Bonding Pre-Treatment for the hair. This is how it looks like. I think I like this brand. Like, they have really good products for your hair. I have a couple, so I finished this one. And then I finished this mini shampoo. This is the Argan Oil and Morocco OGX. Every time I wear that shampoo, like, it dries my hair so bad. But I wanted the mini because this one was the one I took to my trips. Hand cream, and this is the vanilla butter and cream which is one of my faves. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for my fall and winter empties. I feel like I did pretty good. I'm really excited to see how many products I use for this year. I'm recording this uh, in December, so I, don't, I think I'm gonna post this like on January, literally in 2023. Stay tuned for that video. It's probably going to be like the next video. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe, to like this video, to comment down below, to follow me on Instagram. And I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye.